Good morning from KMEG's Performance, the Philippines' premier custom jeepney garage. Today, we're taking a crew of these wild custom jeepneys that are hammered on dope wheels with Japanese engine swaps, and we're taking a road trip a couple hours south to the country and the world's biggest custom jeepney car show, hosted by B2. B. For those that don't know, the whole reason this exists here is way back in the day in the 1960s when the U.S. military abandoned their bases after the war was over, they left all these jeeps here and the Filipino people basically adopted them as their daily drivers and like most car enthusiasts, they could not leave them stock and they started modifying them. Decades later, it has snowballed into this crazy stuff. Welcome to OTJ owner type Jeep car culture here in the Philippines. My original plan was just to attend the car show, but when I got invited to take this road trip with the crew of these Jeepneys, well, I just couldn't say no to that. The seat belts have obviously never been installed or used because as soon as I put them on, I try to tighten them. They were the absolute loosest seat belts you've ever seen. So we're just doing it Southeast Asia style. No seat belts, YOLO. We'll be all right. I don't know. Pray for me. You know, this is a very interesting part of Manila. I'm in Bimus, which is in the province of Tavete. I think that's how you pronounce it. And it is not a place that foreigners normally go in Manila. The main spots in Manila for foreigners are Makati, BGC, uh, Quezon City. But here in Imus, you rarely see foreigners. So when people see me and this what thing, up, they're like, what the Tapping. hell is going Fist on? Bump. Boom, boom. Give me one, dude. Come on, give me one. Nice. Do you give me money? You like that? That's always my answer. They're always like, give me money. I'm like, no, you give me money. Guys, you see this jeepney here? This large one? These are public transportation jeepneys. So these are jeepneys that are almost like buses. If you've been to Thailand, specifically Pattaya, they have the bot buses. This is similar to what they have here. So there's two types of jeeps. The one that I'm in, the OTJ, the owner type Jeep, and then there's the public transport Jeepneys. Today's car show that we're going to, hosted by B2B, is going to have 75 Jeepneys and crazy custom ones. The best ones in the Philippines, hands down, both OTJs and public transportation Jeepneys. I'm very, very excited for this car show, to say the least going to be some of the most unique car culture that you have ever seen on YouTube. I promise. Hello. 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 <laughs> One thing you can say about uh, the Philippines is the people is so incredibly nice. Like I thought, hello, how are you? I'm okay. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah. Hello. See what I'm saying? CB Media. Yeah, see you. Bye-bye. Hilarious. One thing that I will say about this country is I live in Thailand, the land of smiles. You know, some of the most friendly people on earth. Listen, I love Thai people, but Filipino people are the nicest, kindest, sweetest human beings on planet Earth, hands down, point blank, period. I love the people of the Philippines. I truly do. They're about high great life. people. Uh, another thing that I've noticed about car culture here is the off-roading and like overlanding thing is massive in the Philippines. Uh, it's as big here as it is back in the U.S. Uh, you see overlanding built out rigs everywhere. And I think we have officially made it to this is the main road. So we've, we've got out of the smaller like province areas and hopefully we'll have a little bit less traffic. They also really love their Subarus here. Subaru culture is massive here. You see so many WRXs and STIs everywhere here in the Philippines. But you know, I kind of appreciated being in that traffic in those little local areas because you're able to actually see what's going on compared to just zipping by everything. Sammy, look at this. This is a Jeepney as well. But this Jeepney is 
to transport water. But that is a jeepney. They use these things for so many different purposes. Everything from But you know, one thing that I've noticed about car culture here in Southeast Asia is people just don't tend to stick together. Like we left the shop with three or four of the jeepneys and we lost all of our crew. It's something that's very common in Southeast Asia. In the US, if a crew of people are doing a road trip together, we do everything possible to stick together on that road trip. Here, it's kind of pretty much every man for himself. Hopefully we'll rendezvous with the rest of our crew very soon. We'll see. Back on the road. Wearing a seatbelt in the Philippines is just taking it and draping it over you. So I guess the police don't stop you. Okay, thank you. This guy's slinging corn. And he's got a uh, toasted, I don't know what that is. That dude's literally selling corn. He, we're buying corn apparently. <laughs> thank you, bro. See you. Yo, 
What's up, dude? Good to see you. Bro, this is crazy. As you can probably tell, we have officially made it to OTJ Fest here at Wynn Residences in Tagaytay, Philippines. This is a very beautiful part of the Philippines and it is home to the biggest jeepney car show on planet Earth. Before we get to the jeepneys, we're gonna head to the other side of the parking lot where the B2B car show is. Check out some of the JDM cars and some of the very dope off-road builds that they have here in the Philippines. So the plan is to start here in the back corner of the parking lot and work our way toward the jeepneys. Right behind me, there are two of my favorite overlanding builds here at this event. I told you overlanding and off-roading is a massive thing here in the Philippines. As you can probably tell, van culture is also massive here in the Philippines. Why this guy decided to do a full-blown Hello Kitty setup on his, I have no idea. It's called the Kitty Van. And uh, yeah, this thing is crazy. It's very beautiful. One thing that you'll notice about the car models in the Philippines, say hello to my subscribers. The car models in the Philippines are very beautiful naturally, whereas the car models in Thailand tend to have a lot of aftermarket modifications. She's all standard, but that's okay. There are a row of these stand cars, and I assume they're all on air ride because, as you saw on my journey here, the roads in Manila are absolute garbage. So. I assume these guys are hair rod. But what's funny is whatever this is behind me has a bounce decal. Bounce is like a very famous car club and shop in Thailand that this is what they specialize in. They specialize in stance cars. So it's funny to see a bounce sticker on a car in the Philippines at a car show. I love the NA Miata, very, very clean. I love like the all metal wide body kit. I love the wheels, I love the fitment, I love the stance. It's a very nice NA Miata. I also really like this Fortuner. I'm pretty sure this Fortuner is on air ride as well. <laughs> Look at this, MS Thailand. Uh, MS Thailand is, his name's Ming, and he makes custom titanium parts for Toyota and Isuzu diesel trucks. So I assume this vehicle is running Ming's titanium piping, exhaust, or intercooler. Very cool. Next to the row of diesel trucks, you have some pretty nice cars, including an R35 GTR. Really dig the color on Air Ride. Gold Advan GTs. Ferrari on Air Ride. A Huracan on some very nice wheels. And then after that, you have a GT86 that's wide body, nice wheels, endless big brake kit. This is one of the nicer JDM cars at this event today. Yeah, that's a really, really nice GT86. And like I said earlier, the people in the Philippines absolutely love their EKs. These four-door EK sedans are so incredibly popular here. Like I said, a lot of them are very nice, including this one. Oh, and check this out. It's a Dodge Ram. Uh, you know, I posted on my Instagram story recently that it blew my mind that I saw a Dodge Ram because I haven't seen one of these in like two plus years. As you know, I live in Thailand and we don't have these things here. So seeing this is like, holy shit, it's a Ram. Okay, we gotta go check out these Jeep. That's what we really came here for. It is the biggest Jeep car show in the world. It has to be because is there jeepney car shows anywhere else except for the Philippines? I don't think so. And uh, this is the biggest one that they have. I've been told they're going to have 75 plus jeepneys here today. So I'm excited to see some of the Philippines' best jeepneys. So these jeepneys, the owner type jeepneys, most of them have Toyota or Honda engine swaps in them. The difference is the ones over here, the ones that are used to actually transport people are mostly powered by, check this out, a Zuzu turbo diesel engine. The hell, did you see that? This whole entire thing 
lowers and raises on some type of mechanism. I have no idea what's going on. Yeah, this is uh, a very, very interesting and unique form of car culture to say the least. So I really dig this Jeepney. I like how clean the engine bay is. And also one thing that makes it a little bit more unique is the wheel setup. It's running a larger steely wheel. Oh, the Jeepney that I really wanted to see is here. We have to go look at this one. Yes, you're seeing that correctly. That is a 4G63 Evo powered full blown Jeepney drag car. What the hell? It's on welds. It's got a drag pack with ET streets. This thing's fully stripped out, caged, legit purpose built drag jeepney. That is freaking cool. Definitely reps. Like I said, Philippines is the home of Rota. It's a jeepney on T37s. Nice. You see this? And then also this. So. I could be mistaken, I could be wrong, but I think the owners and drivers of these transport jeepneys that they use to actually transport the Filipino people around the country, I think they name their jeepneys. Something's wrong here. What is going on? I'm letting you know now, this place is chaos, and I'm doing my best to film what I can, uh, but it's crazy here. It's a lot of people in a very small space, but it's a very, very cool event. These things have crazy horns on them. If you're an expat living here in the Philippines, let me know if I'm correct or not. I have a hunch that the Filipino people love noise. <laughs> custom these guys put a lot of time and effort and money into these jeeps to keep this like very old school traditional filipino car culture alive and i really do dig it i like this stuff if i lived in the philippines i would 100 percent have a k-swap jeep okay guys get this see this right here for sale. I was just asking the owner how much he wanted for his Jeepney. It's powered by a Toyota 4K and the asking price is 350,000 pesos, which is, get this, 6,100 US dollars for this thing. $6,100? I don't know about you guys, but in my opinion, that is a very, very cool vehicle for $6,100. Just wish he knew.